Namaste. Hi. I'll be talking about the Vajroli Mudra and the Sahajoli Mudra. So Vajroli Mudra is for men, yeah, and the Sahajoli Mudra is for the ladies. Yeah. So the Mudra aims to preserve our creative energy, specifically the Ojas, which is contained in the semen for men, and the Ovum, or the egg cell for the women. All right. So it's both a conscious practice, meaning there are techniques yeah, you can do yeah, to learn, yeah, and benefit from this mudra, but when I was starting, they're not for me, to be honest. So I set this mudra aside in the hope that in the future I will feel it organically. That's how I approach my practice. If I find a particular technique, not for me at that particular situation, I'm not closing my doors to it, but rather I set it aside and then focus on the techniques I really enjoy. And it didn't fail me, really. So every breakthroughs I attained this practice happened not because of learning it, you know, but because they happen, because I was enjoying the practice. Same goes with the Vajroli Mudra. All right. So I just felt it. And it's also a spontaneous experience. When the Kundalini is awakened properly, she makes her presence felt. Personally, at this uh, present uh, practice of mine, I feel it once a month or maybe once in two months, but before I would feel her more frequently. And the sensation yeah, it's actually, yeah, electricity, yeah, crawling, yeah, through the tip of the penis starts there and then, yeah, down, yeah, the body of the penis and then inside. And then you use now the bandas in, yeah, ascending her further up. Yes. It's not a flowing out uh, sensation, but inward, yeah. And this um, uh, uh, resonates, you know, what's written in the book. Yeah. So you have to pull yeah, the sensation inwards so you can preserve the vital force. Yeah. But that conscious control could be quite challenging to attain because we're just human beings, right? So although there are techniques, yes, yeah, said, well, I can you know, give some insights about those conscious techniques of you can release uh, your sexual fluid without draining the essence, the ojas. Yes, there are techniques you can do internally to do that. But... Yeah, for, uh, for for us, the general practitioners, yeah, that's very uh, challenging to, to practice. Yeah, but the organic manifestation of the uh, Vajroli Mudra happens actually yeah, without you doing anything. Yeah. So when the Kundalini is there, because that is an indication that you need to drain her out and then flow her out through the rest of your asa anatomy, then you have to do your, your, your task of, of uh, meditation. Yeah, so when I feel, and this happens, not just um, one-off, yeah, it happens and then lasts for like a few days. You know, sometimes I would feel it like yeah, three or f even four days. Yeah, I mean, she would yeah, be uh, manifesting there like rhythmic intervals. Actually, I'm feeling it right now. So I would just keep my body still and I would feel it from the tip of the pen penis flowing down and I would use my bandas to collect the sensation up. Yeah, and we'll go again, like in rhythmic intervals, sometimes two seconds, sometimes in intervals of four seconds or eight seconds. Yeah. So if I hold my body still there, yeah, and I would just wait there. Yeah. Like gushing sensation from the reproductive system backwards. And it's very specific because it really starts at the tip of the penis and then going down, 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 down. And then it will go. Yeah. And then will happen again. Yeah, so you can do now, you can time that sensation yeah, and then perform the other techniques there. Like for example, the, the mula banda collecting up yeah, and then breathing through it yeah, with the internal bandas. Viparita Karani, this one. Yeah. You can just rise there and then the ujjayi breath, you can utilize the ujjayi breath yeah, in collecting the sensation. And you can even perform the other mudras, yeah, for example, the um, Shambhavi mudra, and then time that yeah, with that rhythmic interval of the Vajroli yeah, as an organic, spontaneous experience. Uh, so yes, yeah, in that way, yeah, you're able to um, collect yeah, the essence because I feel, I think, yeah, this sensation is actually the essence, yeah, the vital force. And then you can drain yeah, the liquid out through your sexual expression, yeah, but you remain and then seal the vital force inside. 
the Oshas for us, man, the, open, the essence yeah, of life, and allow it to unite here in the brain through meditation, chanting, singing, reading scriptures. Yeah. So as human beings, yeah, actually the sexual uh, energy is a sacred energy. There's a purpose to procreate, to express a love, compassion, yeah, tolerance, respect. Yeah, at the same time, we don't abuse it. And Hatha Yoga is there for us yeah, to rechannel yeah, the body energy to higher spiritual functions. And when yeah, the time happens that you need to express this, yeah, you can. Yeah, so you can leave your mortal yeah, functions and at the same time preserve yeah, the essence but if you need to express it, there's no wrong in doing that. <laughs> Hopefully this one yeah, helps you yeah, understand yeah, the techniques, yeah, both as conscious effort and as a byproduct of enjoying your practice. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Namaste.